Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting very to episode 23 of season 2 of Jabba's Reincarnation. Let's go ahead and get started. I don't want to watch this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still emotional from last week because it's just, um, even with the fact that I didn't come home and watch this last night, I'm still fucking emotional. But take two. In three, two, one. Go. I'm not gonna cry again. I'm not fucking crying again. Yeah, he should have. Out of their respect. And because you loved them. And they cared about you. But then you would have died. You, you live on for him. <laughs> We're only minutes, I don't know when I'll turn this off. <laughs> You need some air and some light. You need to get out.
Not now of all times, girl. Like, god damn. His dad just died. How the hell are we explaining this to soldiers when we get back home? Well, that's the thing. Sometimes you don't know. You you don't necessarily move on. Because you can't run away from this. You have to face it head on. Please go get food. I don't like the fact that you're skinny. It's just I, I hate when like the the cheekbones thing, but like, oh so sad. I fall for him. Mm -mm. <laughs> Once again we we discussed and this was Sylvie when we get back home. Right. Yeah, it, it's like she's in more of a comatose dreamlike state. So Nine out of ten, there is a possibility that she doesn't remember him. Probably not. Mm-hmm. Well, that's going to be one big happy house.
I'm not surprised. Well, I mean, but you already slept with her. But still at the same time, that's not right though. You don't want to take advantage of someone when they're down. That's not always good. Well, I mean, you could have her live at the house. your excuse. Mm. Thank you. D I, I mean, because seriously, that's a dumbass question, Rudy. Right, I mean, once, uh, once again, we're going, uh, right, right! <laughs> See, I'm already in a relationship with another girl. Mm -hmm. Persona 5.
the fuck up. Yeah, because she's upset about it, too. It's about to be three women he about to marry to all at once. Because we're only missing one more now. And, and now, yeah. But Right, 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 like, so we'll talk about that next Sunday. Exactly. Once again, you know the show Sister Wives? This is exactly what the fuck is about to be. Excuse me.
I do hope that what he does, um, he hangs his father's sword, like, at least above the fireplace. So that, you know, it's like, it's a very important item. Something to just always see every day and remember him by and everything. I mean, and, and I get it. Because the first couple minutes of this episode, yes, was him dealing with the fact that he was no longer going to see his dad again. And and that's something I think a lot of us do think about with our parents and such. Because, you know, hey, you're off on your own. You're doing your own things. Yeah, you talk to your family here and there and stuff. <laughs> but when that day comes... It's always a sad thing. So never, you know, always say and end off on a happy note with your family members. Don't end on bad notes because once they're gone, they're gone. And you're going to regret so much. And I feel like there's so many things Rudy wanted to say to his dad and talk to his dad about. And if everything had a went safe and sound and if his dad didn't die, um... And if they all lived together in that big ass house, because something would have told me if he would have survived, that definitely would have happened. Um, that would have been really interesting. That would have been some really <laughs> imagine our first reality television via series via anime <laughs> with a big ass family. I mean, goddamn. But okay, here here is my thing with the. Oh, Jesus Christ. The multiple wives. I'm I'm not triggered by it. I get it because, one, it's fantasy. We're going to see things like that in this series or anything 100% similar to it and such. But as I've said the last couple of weeks, if it was me in this suit, your first one is the one that you choose. Sometimes maybe that first one that you choose is not the best. And the next thing you know, something happens and you're moving on to someone else. That is okay. But my thing is, what if Sylvie is not okay with this? In the end, it seems like she's going to be okay with this and be like, okay, I mean, do I think he's going to have a kid with Roxy? I don't really know. That's the thing. Because when I look at him and Roxy, I don't get the shippable moments like I do with him and Sylvie. It's something about those two that when I look at him and Roxy, I'm like, I don't feel that. I feel like they're just good friends that didn't need to go into the development of becoming a relationship and being quote unquote married as of going into next week's episode. Um, but I get it. She, in these last couple of episodes and moments between these two, you can't deny that she's falling in love with him. So I get it. She wants to be around him and such. Like, I would have thought he would have been like, yeah, just come live with me and stuff so that you could be around me like 24-7 ish like that. X, Y, Z and ish. Um, but yeah, woo, cause it, this was real life shit, you know, girl, <laughs> we can't talk about that cause we all fucking know how the fuck that would've ended, da -da, it's like, come on now, <laughs> shut up, shut the fuck up, but no, I'm glad once again his mom is okay. But she's just in this dreamland state, and I, I just don't think she'll ever awaken from it. She'll be like that possibly for the rest, for the remainder of her life until she dies. And that is also something very sad to think of because it seems like she's going to have to have a caretaker with her all these time. And, and once again, think about that with your own personal families and such, or even with your grandmothers or great great grandmothers and stuff, where it comes to a point where um, your parents have to hire someone to take care of your mom and such, or your parents take that burden on and they take Tomorrow, the. You'll see intermittent clouds and can expect a high of 94 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 77 degrees. Thank you, Alexa. Um, they take that burden and they, not saying that it is a burden and stuff, but they take that upon their soldiers, um, shoulders and they take care of their mom or their dad and stuff. That is a lot of pressure on one person because, you know, when we were kids, our parents took care of us. And so we're now flipping the spoon and stuff. There's going to, like for me, there is going to be a day that, um, at a certain age, I may have to take care of my mom. 
And that is going to be, like, the biggest challenge. There was a one point, uh, one time before my grandmother passed, um, that if she would have um, recovered from the surgery and everything that she got and everything, she would have been down here. And it would have been me and my mom taking care of her 24-7 and such. And we would have put that upon our shoulders and such. And once again, it is a heavy toll. I don't know how people can do it because that's the same thing. I don't, I, I would, the one thing I never would do is I would never put my mom in a retirement home. Um, ever. Because I love my mom way too much. Way, way too much. Don't do that to your parents. Mm -mm. But this was a very good episode. I am sad that the show is ending this weekend. But, um, no, this was a good episode. It, it's still in a remembrance of Paul just talking about him and such. I feel like going into season three, we might get a little more moments of that. But something tells me we're probably going to go over to Warside. I don't know. So we just got to wait and see because, you know, <laughs> you already hurt me with 22. You can't really hurt me anymore, okay? Like, I feel like there's no way of, there's no other way that you can fucking hurt me. Okay? Okay. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to this episode 23 of season 2 of Jawless Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Sunday for the final episode of season 2. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!